Quick little dynasty question before we go into sits of the week. Well, how high would you have Jameer Gibbs ranked in your dynasty running back ranking? So where is he? So of course we have one being B. John Robinson. And if you live under a rock, like <laughs> you don't know who that is or anything like that in dynasty, B. John is number one. But where do you have number two, three, four, five? Like, do we have Brees Hall two? Do we have Jonathan Taylor three? Like, is Jonathan Taylor still three? How high do we have Jameer Gibbs? That's my question for you guys before we get to the six sits of the week here. We're going to start off with quarterbacks. Now, this defense has let up more or has had more interceptions than touchdowns let up in the last 19 games. It is Trevor Lawrence against the Houston Texans. Now, Houston is horrible against the run. They are really good against the pass. <laughs> and so that is the, the the method of how you beat Houston. You just run the ball. And so Trevor Lawrence could have some rushing yards here, which might be a little sneaky. But 16 touchdowns they've let up, 17 interceptions in the last 19 games. So you're averaging less than a touchdown a game. So Trevor Lawrence is going to be my center of the week. It is, it's tough because he's got Kelvin Ridley. He's got Christian Kirk. He's got Evan Ingram. But if you have all these pass options, I would potentially look and detour, especially for non-Ridley owners. So if you have Ingram, if you have... Uh, if you have Christian Kirk, if you have uh, Zay Jones, who might be hurt, I, I'm, I'm probably trying to steer away from those types of players right now. And then Jordan Love, he has 11.5 touchdown percent. So 11.5% of his passes are touchdowns. We're talking historic rates are in the like 7% range. It's going to stop. And I think it's going to stop here with the Saints. The Saints have a really good uh, pass defense. They have actually just a good defense in general. And so when you have the Saints who have a really good defense, and I think the Packers, I think this is going to be more of a A.J. Dillon, kind of a just an ugly, I mean, you could honestly see it being kind of similar to the Carolina game, honestly, uh, a very 17-16 type game. Um, I don't think you're going to have this high scoring game like Packers have been doing the last two weeks. And they're going to run into a defense that's actually good because Atlanta's defense has notoriously been bad. The Bears defense was absolutely horrendous. And so now you have a good defense. What is Love going to do against a good defense? This is the big interesting thing. We're sitting running backs that have the Houston Texans classifier next to him, and it is Damian Pierce, who I have been the Damian Pierce hater, apparently. I have always been the hater, I guess. But this is, I mean, you just, you see the writing on the wall. Damian Pierce, Devin Singletary, these, these players are not just going to be sits of the week. They're going to be sits until we can actually see them to start per, to perform because right now it seems like it's going to be cj stroud and only cj stroud and they're just they are on a historic pace for how many passing attempts they have been doing and dropbacks they've been doing on the next one is rashad white he just had a great game and now you put him against the eagles who are really good against the run and actually the number one defense um so the number one worst defense against the fantasy quarterback position so baker mayfield actually might have a really good game um and their secondary seems to be really rough right now I don't think that a good plan is to run at Fletcher Cox and Jordan Davis. I think a good plan is to throw the ball in the air to Mike Evans and Chris Godwin, who are your best positional players on the field. And that's if that's what I would do. And that's what I would do if I was Tampa. And I think that's what's going to happen here. The New York Jets running backs, specifically Dalvin Cook, but I think Brees Hall is a bench here too against the Patriots. I think the Patriots are, I mean, Bill Belichick's smart. He's smarter than me. He's smarter than you. Uh, at least when it comes to football mindset. And, and it's the reason why he's one of the best coaches of all time, if not the best. He is going to stop the run. He's going to look at Brees Hall. He's going to look at Alvin Cook and say, Zach Wilson, beat us. And and I don't, you just, you can't. You, you could literally triple cover Garrett Wilson. I think that if you're, I don't have Garrett Wilson on here. If you have Garrett Wilson, he's a closer and closer to a bench. He has been bailed out by a crazy touchdown grab in week one. And week two, just a slant and touchdown run um, against Dallas. He has been bailed out. I don't think that that continues to happen. So I am going to be benching New York Jets running backs, and I'm going to be benching Brees Hall until he gets the majority of the work. And and I really hope the Jets start thinking about getting another quarterback. <coughs> Tom Brady. <laughs> I just want that to happen. Marquise Brown versus Dallas. Uh, then we're getting the wide receivers now. Dallas is just so suffocating. And, and if I'm Josh Allens, I am going to be trying to run it through James Conner. And I'm going to be very scared. <laughs> just very scared in general of Micah Parsons. Um, have you met Micah Parsons? Because he's a scary man. JSN versus Carolina. Carolina actually has a really good pass defense. Uh, we saw that a little bit uh, this the beginning of the season. And, and they had a good pass defense last year as well. I just think that with JSN, we don't know if DK if is out. Let's just say DK is out. I don't think he is. But I think if he is out, then 
this JSN sit of the week doesn't seem as great, but again, I think Tyler Lockett is probably the wide receiver one for the next week or two here as we continue to slowly get JSN in here. Uh, Marvin Mims, Cortland Sutton against Miami Dolphins. Bench, 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 bench. We're not, we're not starting any of those players. Judy is, again, a flyer. I just We don't know what to do with Judy. Judy has the talent. He is injury prone, and he's got Russell Wilson, and that's two big knocks. That's two strikes. One more strike, and he's out. Uh, and tight ends, we're going to go with Tyler Higby against Cincinnati. Uh, Tyler Higby is just not getting the target share. You're getting Tutu Atwell. You're getting Puka. Uh, and when you have Puka getting 15 targets, and you're getting Tutu Atwell with 10 targets, 12 targets, and they're running the ball with Kyron Williams, receiving the ball with Kyron Williams, I just think at this point, Tyler Higby is a bench. And then Dallas Goddard. Um, I think I've seen this be a, a lot of people start of the week, and I, I just don't believe it against Tampa Bay. A.J. Brown. Devonta Smith, those are one, two. And they ran the ball very effectively with De, uh, DeAndre Swift. And I think they're going to try to do that again with whether it's a combination of DeAndre Swift and, and um, Kenneth Gamewell or majority of uh, DeAndre Swift or majority of Kenneth Gamewell. We don't know that backfield. I, they, they could be the Patriots. And, and again, kind of surprise you week by week basis, which is going to be frustrating. But I think that that could be in the realm of possibility. So again, those are my starts of the week or sits of the week. Um, let me know what questions you have. And uh, have, good luck on week three here. Hopefully everyone's 2-0 and, oh and we can celebrate our week three victories.